for people that like to run and debug the applications from their IDE so that the entire workflow is right next to their source code, VS Code has an excellent extension for React Native. And this extension is actually maintained by Microsoft itself. So let's take a look. We start off with an empty React Native application and to demonstrate some features of debugging, we add a new state variable for count and a function that can be used to increment this count by one. Within our UI, we will have a simple button that will both show the current count value as well as invoke the onPress function when it is pressed. And as you click the button, you can see that it is functioning exactly as we would expect. A great feature to have would be the ability to create a breakpoint anywhere within our code so that we can debug our applications more effectively and use the breakpoint as an opportunity to examine the various portions of our application logic, like view the value of count before we increment it. Now, of course, this breakpoint doesn't get triggered right now because we haven't set up application debugging yet. For this purpose, as we mentioned in the intro, there is an extension for VS Code called React Native Tools that is provided by Microsoft. To install this extension within VS Code, we open up the extensions panel and search for React Native Tools. As you can see, this is the extension by Microsoft, which has over 2.9 million downloads. To get the extension, click the install button. And once it completes, we can close any of the open windows. Now this extension is going to create some temporary files while it's going to be debugging our code and it's going to be creating them under the .vscode.react folder. So it's a great idea to ignore this .react folder, which we can do from the .gitignore file so that we don't end up accidentally committing some garbage files. With that done, the next step is to create a launch configuration that is going to start our app in debug mode. We can do that from the debug panel Click create launch.json file, select react native, and this extension provides a number of launch configurations, but we're going to select debug iOS because that is what we are going to be demoing in this lesson. Now this launch.json file is created under the .vs code folder and feel free to commit it to Git to share it with your team members. Now let's jump into our app.tsx file. And as you can see, we have that breakpoint on the set count function. If we jump back to the debug panel, you can see that the launch configuration has been picked up by VS Code and we can launch that debug iOS target that we just created. That's going to start Metro, that's going to launch the app in the simulator and attach VS Code debugger to it. So now if we click the button within the iOS simulator again, that breakpoint is going to get triggered. And now if we want to observe any of the state within our application, we can do that with a simple watch. For example, add a watch for the count variable we can see that it is currently zero. We can press continue to resume the application execution and then press the button again. And this time the count is currently one. Of course, you can play around with this as much as you want, continuing, observing, and whatever else you need to do to debug your application. And once you are happy, you can stop your debug session. Now, of course, there is a lot more to this extension as well as debugging within VS Code in general, but hopefully you saw some of the power of this workflow in this lesson. You can continue your React Native journey over here. Thank you for joining me. Smash that like and subscribe for more content like this, and I will see you in the next one.